VG, where your day begins with the greetings of a warm, friendly Buller smile, with pristine crystal clear waters to picture-perfect sunsets and sunrise. Fiji consists of more than 330 islands, of which 110 are permanently inhabited. The two major islands, Viti Levu and Vanua Levu, account for 87% of the total population. The capital of Fiji is Suva on Viti Levu. Fiji has one of the most developed economies in the Pacific, thanks to its abundant forest, mineral and fish resources. Its currency is the Fijian dollar, and its main sources of foreign exchange is its tourist industry. The game of rugby reached the Pacific Islands in 1884, and it has since changed the lives of the islanders. Let's take a look at rugby history in Fiji. Fiji RFU was created in 1914. The Fiji Rugby Union is now the governing body for the sports of rugby in Fiji. It comprises of 36 affiliate unions and associations. Rugby is Fiji's national game, played by people of all ages. It's an important part of Fiji's culture, and wherever you go, you'll find a rugby field or yard filled with locals playing a game in true Fijian style. There are 80,000 registered players in Fiji. There are plenty of opportunities to take part in a rugby crazy nation as Fiji, either as a spectator or player. It's a demanding, bodily game. However, there's no way to experience Fiji than enjoying a game of rugby. Fijians are among the excellent rugby gamers in the world, with many going out to represent other rugby nations. There are several strong home competitions which seize the nation. Primary and secondary schools compete in rugby competitions that supply a strong base for rugby in Fiji. In the last decade, Fiji rugby has vastly improved, mainly in sevens, where the Fiji team has dominated. ABU Robocon 2020 Suva is designed to promote the idea of Rugby Sevens. Robo Rugby rules are motivated from World Rugby. The game takes place between two teams, the red and the blue team. The game between the teams will last for three minutes. A gaming area will be divided into the following zones. The Pass Robot Start Zone. The Tri Robot Start Zone. The passing zone, the receiving zone, the kicking zone, the border zone. Each team has two robots, known as pass robot and try robot. The two robots can either be manual or automatic. Five obstacles, fins, dry spots, conversion post, try balls, kick balls. The pass robot starts from the pass robot start zone. The pass robot picks up one try ball from the ball rack and passes the try ball from the passing zone to try robot located in the receiving zone. The try robot starts from the try robot start zone and moves into the receiving zone to receive the try ball from pass robot. Try robot receives the ball successfully from the pass robot. One point. The try robot then goes along the five defending obstacles to score the try in one of the five try spots. Two points for each try. After a successful try by try robot, a kick step can be taken from the kicking zone to make the goal by either the try robot or pass robot. Successful goal kick from the kicking zone won. Five points for each successful goal. Successful goal kick from the kicking zone two. Ten points for each successful goal. Successful goal kick from the kicking zone three. Twenty points for each successful goal. If the opponent's try ball or kick ball lands in your field without touching the conversion post, 10 points for each ball. The game continues until all the seven kick balls are used, or when the three minutes has passed. Robo Rugby, see you in Suva Fiji in 2020. <laughs>